Um, I've been wanting to do this video for several years now and I've been sort of terrified because like I said it's really personal uh, most people don't know this even my closest friends don't know what I'm gonna talk about today but I've been seeing a lot of people getting veneers and it's sort of become a little bit of a trend um, I'm not necessarily throwing shade at anyone you know people are free to do whatever they want um, I have personally had an insane experience with veneers and today I'm gonna spill the tea girl obviously when I was looking into getting veneers um, this was in 2010 so it was eight years ago so it was a long time ago a lot of people like to say that like oh Evelina you moved to LA and you got veneers I got veneers back when I was living in North Carolina and for me it was sort of a necessity and I'll go into detail as to why um, so when I was kind of researching and looking into it, I wish that I also watched a video like this um, just to kind of be a little bit more prepared and know sort of the dark side of getting it done and how serious of a procedure it really is. I'm not gonna lie, it feels really weird to talk about my dental history now, you know, with like anything. It's like, oh, let me put out all my uh, secrets on the internet. But look, we're all human. It's part of life. Shit happens. So let's do it. So back in Moldova, I used to get a lot of cavities. Um, I don't know why. Ever since I moved to the States, uh, which is like 10 years now, I haven't had one, not one single cavity, which is really interesting. My guess is the uh, water is different. I think there's like more fluoride. Um, the chemicals are different in the water. So like my teeth have been completely healthy and fine. But back when I was in high school, I had a lot of problems. So um, the big issue that I had, which caused me to uh, consider getting veneers, I got a cavity in between these two teeth right here, which is right in the front of sort of like my smile. So I had a cavity sort of like right in my front two teeth, um, which resulted me into getting a root canal. And if you know anything about getting a root canal, your tooth will turn gray. No matter how much you try to match up the color with, uh, you know, the uh, filling and all that kind of stuff, like my front tooth was gray. So I was really, really self-conscious about my smile. And I redid that um, filling so many times. So I had like a little filling that was kind of like yellowy and a gray tooth. I know it sounds not very attractive, but I was super self-conscious about it. Not a lot of people like noticed it, but to me, I was like really self-conscious because it's like right when I smile. So I used to always smile with like this side of the face instead of this side of the face, which I later found out that this is actually my good side. So I was always smiling with my bad side of my face because I didn't want to show my teeth. So to some of you, it may seem vain, but teeth are a big deal. You know, if you don't have a healthy, beautiful smile, like you don't feel yourself, you don't feel uh, your as beautiful as you can and you don't really smile in photos and for me it was a big issue back in the day when i was living in north carolina i um started looking for solutions you know is there some way that we can maybe just put a crown on this great tooth or is there maybe some other solution so i found out about veneers and back then i was living in charlotte which is a pretty big city for uh, on the east coast so there's a lot of great doctors lots of great stuff so um i found this doctor he was supposedly really good and we went in and uh, we had a great consultation and he i quote um you were gonna give you some great results I see some great results for you. I think you're a really great candidate. So obviously I could have gotten just the one tooth or two teeth, but he recommended to get um, the entire smile line, which for most people would be either six or eight veneers. So when you smile, there's no color difference, nothing. So at the time I was hella broke, so I couldn't afford to get eight veneers. So we decided to go for six. <laughs> so here we go. Um, I went in, it was a hell of a process. I hear some of my friends that have been have veneers in LA. They're like, oh yeah, I just uh, went in and went to sleep, and he did his thing, and then I woke up, and then um, a couple weeks later, I had to go and like change my temporary veneers for the permanent veneers, something like that. For me, it was like, I don't know how long it took, maybe two months, maybe more of like constant going in, trying on these like weird like gray ass like temporary veneers because you have to wait till they get them in the lab, like because they have to like make the actual like really pretty porcelain veneers. Anyway, I get my permanent veneers and I'm like, <laughs> they're big. When I say big, I literally looked like a rabbit. So. And I was like, Ugh. but like back then I didn't know any better. I didn't know. I just thought like this is how it is. And I kind of went in. I'm like, hey, do you want to make them a little smaller? I definitely feel like they're a little bit bigger for my mouth. Oh, and what was like the really bad part? Because there's six and like now I have eight in. So there was six. And when I would smile like this, you could see a clear gap 
uh, between the veneer and my actual teeth. Because like my my natural teeth are really small, which are like this little, and the veneer was like this big. So it's like like this big tooth next to this little tooth. It was like horrible. So anyway, now I have these huge rabbit teeth that he put on my little um, natural teeth and he also filed them into little nubs, which is the uh, normal process for veneers. They kind of file your teeth into like this little thing and put them on. He definitely was very, very generous in how much he filed and then he put those teeth. So this is where the nightmare of the whole situation starts and it gets worse and worse and much, much, much worse. So I'm sitting in class one day and I bite on something and one of my veneers pops off. I go in, get it glued back on, it stays. Then a couple of weeks later, another veneer pops off. Then I got, like, can you imagine being in public, you're talking to people and there's a veneer flying out of your mouth. Like that is the biggest nightmare, but wait, it gets worse. So my veneers keep popping off, I don't know why, we keep going back, you know, I'm thinking maybe that's just part of the process. You know what? I went for it, maybe it's my fault. They keep popping off until one night. You know how you have nightmares of like your teeth falling out? Well, this is what happened. So um, I was doing my homework and I wanted to open a bag of chips. I bite, like I wasn't even biting on an apple or anything like that. Like I just like bit to like open the bag of chips and this front tooth broke off from the root, like really deep from the root and like flew off. And I was just like, I almost like, I got like really shaky and like, I got a little queasy. I was like, no, 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 this, this can't be happening. This can't be happening. There's no freaking way. Literally my entire tooth broke off and flew. And I was like, well, uh, I had to go to class the next morning and I'm not sure how this is going to work. So I just kind of made fun of the situation that night and sent pictures to my friends without a tooth and they called me a hillbilly or whatever. So the next day he was able to get me in and like, he like, put like a pole in it and then like drilled it in and somehow like fixed it like temporarily and said that I was going to need to get an implant. And at that point I'm like, I'm 21 years old. Like I do not want to have an implant. Like why, like what, what does that even like mean? That's crazy. So anyway, uh, I'm barely walking around with this like wonky ass tooth that keeps flying all the time. It keeps falling out all the time. Like I'm afraid to eat. I'm afraid to speak. I'm afraid to do anything. Like could you imagine your front tooth just like being kind of loose? Oh my god, just talking about this is like giving me a nightmare because this is like one of those situations that like I kind of filed away in my cabinet, you know, I don't want to like think about it or remember it. Also what was happening is that my gums were never able to heal for some reason and I was like brushing my teeth and flossing and everything and like my gums are always really really red really irritated for some reason like they just like it seemed like they just weren't accepting the veneers and I don't know why and at the time I didn't have any money and like we had just saved up to move to California so um, I moved to California and I was like look I have to fix this so I went and did some extensive research on the best doctor in Orange County and I found this guy I'm just gonna name him in case you guys are looking for somebody it wasn't free I had to pay I'm not being paid for this but his name was Dr. Spath he was incredible he was able to save my life and I'm going to go into detail as to how much the other doctor fucked up my life. So I go in and he takes photos, he kind of examines everything that was done, takes out my broken tooth and he's like, so the doctor that did your veneers filed away way too much tooth structure and he also filed, because uh, when, when they do the veneers they also kind of um, burn your gum. I know it sounds weird, they burn it with a laser, but you're like numbed out and everything. So they burn it with a laser to like contour your gums. So they kind of fit nicely with your new teeth because like you're putting in a whole different shape of teeth. So he's like, so the reason why your gums never heal because he burned them too much. Like he burned so much of your gum and also he, and the reason why your tooth broke off is because he took off way too much structure and it cracked. And like literally there was this huge tooth adhering to a very, very little tooth. And I'm just like, oh, well, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's awesome. And then he said, okay, well, I'm going to fix it. It's going to be $20,000, <laughs> which at the time, and even now, that's, that's a lot of money. $20,000 is a lot of money. So I decided to go for it. And I did like a sort of a credit thing to like pay in rates, like pay every two months or something like that for like years. Um, I finally paid off my teeth. So congratulations to me. <laughs> so I decided to trust this new doctor and get everything redone. And it was honestly one of the most painful experiences of my life. Painful as in like literally it hurt. And I'm not saying that it was anything on him. It was just that this process really hurts. Um, number one, I have really high metabolism. So 
when I was laying in the chair, and um, I was awake for the whole thing, by the way. So when I was laying in the chair, and he was like filing everything and like taking off all of my veneers, my numbing injections kept um, stopped working because it's like my uh, body, my metabolism keeps like processing them really fast. So like all of a sudden, I start feeling pain again. So like every 30 minutes, we had to do like eight, 10 injections to like numb everything, everything up again. Um, so that day, we did the whole shebang. We did the implant. We did the um, we did the temporary veneers, and also uh, the one thing that he had to do, which was by far the most insane, uh, painful thing of it all. And if you're sensitive to stuff, I would recommend skipping through this part of the video. But we had to do a reconstructive gum surgery, and it sounds crazy because it is. So what they do is that they scoop a little bit of tissue from the roof of your mouth. So you kind of like scooped, which I like felt that. But it wasn't painful, I just like felt pressure of him scooping the tissue and then they sew the tissue on top of your gum and then he contours it and then you have to let it heal. So, I'm not gonna go into like the whole process of the veneers because you can find the whole information, but after I was done with that whole process, I just came home and I was like, my mouth was like this big because it's like from all like the gum surgery and the tooth and the implant and the veneers and everything. Uh, my doctor was like, welcome to Orange County, you're pretty much now an OC housewife. So yeah, it took about a week or so to heal, and then we put in the new veneers. And in about a, you know three weeks to a month, I really saw the difference, and I saw them healing nicely. And oh my god, I am so, so happy with the way that they turned out. Let me just give you a little smile. I love my veneers. I feel like for veneers, these are so well done because... Um, you know, there's always that kind of like veneer look, which is like these like sort of big teeth that are perfectly, perfectly straight um, and white. So what he did for me, he did them the absolute smallest possible. So they're a little bit smaller and my teeth are not perfectly straight. So these two front teeth are a little bit longer. Uh, these are shorter. And then these ones, I have them do like a little bit pointy um, and these are shorter. So they're not perfect. They're like a little bit um, kind of like normal teeth would go. And we did them the absolute smallest that we could. So I was so ecstatic, so happy. I started smiling in photos. Now it's been um, how many years? Four and a half years since I did my veneers and not one tooth has popped out, chipped. I've never, ever, ever had a problem with my teeth. Like it, it is literally, that guy saved my life. So where am I going with this? You might say, well, you just had a bad doctor, you know, it doesn't mean that that's gonna happen to everyone. And it is true. I live in Los Angeles and there's a lot of amazing doctors that are gonna do an amazing job. I just wanna let you know that if shit goes wrong, it goes really, really wrong. And make sure that you really research your doctors. Make sure that you really know the shape that you put one, uh, of your teeth that you want in your mouth. And if you're gonna do it, I personally recommend going for a little bit more of a natural look. So like, don't do them completely straight. Do them a little bit like jagged, kind of like your normal teeth would be. Secondly, when my friends ask me if they should get veneers done, I always say no. Um, and I understand if you have an issue, like I personally had an issue where, you know, I had a great tooth and the cavities and everything, so I wanted to uh, feel beautiful again and have a beautiful smile. So in that sense, a cosmetic, uh, cosmetic procedure makes a lot more sense. Um, at the end of the day, I'm not going to judge anybody that has veneers. But if you have naturally pretty teeth, keep your teeth. If your teeth are good, don't, don't. Don't fix what's not broken, you know? It is a very serious procedure. They literally file your teeth into little knobs and you will never ever see your teeth ever again. Now, I don't mean to scare you. Thankfully, uh, my second veneer experience was phenomenal. They healed up amazingly, they look good. I'm very happy with them. I always get a ton of compliments on my uh, teeth. It's just something to think about. It is permanent. And especially with the rise of the beauty community and bloggers and beauty bloggers, I see so many girls get it. And um, nobody really talks about sort of the, the dark side of it and how it could go wrong. So anyway, I hope that this video didn't like scare you off and um, kind of feels good to like get it off my chest, but I've always been like really embarrassed and ashamed to talk about it because it's like, you know, you don't really want people to know. They just want people to look at you and see like, oh, she has a pretty smile. But trust me, I've been through hell and back with this. Honestly though, full disclosure, if I could go back, I would just keep the gray tooth in the cavity. <laughs> I would just keep it and not have to go through that whole ordeal because that was a nightmare. So yeah, I personally would never judge somebody for getting anything done. We all are on our life's journeys. We all want to look better, feel better, so I understand that. I just kind of wanted to provide a little bit more information and my own personal experience. Um, it was really hard for me to talk about this, um, but 
I hope that you guys learned something. And also, some of you are going to ask me uh, if I sued the doctor. No, I haven't, uh, because I am horrible at paperwork. And the very least that we should have done is had him uh, pay for my new procedure. But we emailed him, and he kind of like brushed us off. Um, but yeah, I uh, looking back at that doctor, I'm not going to say who his name was. He literally ruined my life for years, for years. Like, could you imagine having teeth flying out of your mouth? So... Yeah, not cute, not attractive, but it happened. Life is real. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a little like, it does help me out a lot. I just got back from Coachella and I wanted to film this video really quick before I head out to Mexico for 10 days. If you guys wanted to see my photos, my Instagram is down below. Um, I love you guys so much. It always makes me so happy to film and upload on this channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!